<laughs> hey guys, welcome to our review of episode one of Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns. I'm your host, The Cinder Blaze, and with me today we have... The Frozen Stratos. Strange Words. And Makatoa. Alright, welcome back guys, or not welcome back, this is our first for the series. Oh, and Doing a new show! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I've been watching the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime for a while. I, like, binged Zexel. I watched Arc V. And now, like, I'm kind of used to the whole Yu-Gi-Oh! anime vibe. The other, my other, uh... Co-hosts? Co-hosts. Uh, I haven't really watched Yu-Gi-Oh! since, like, Duel Monsters and GX, like, that no, time. No, 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 no. I watched the first season of, of, um, 5Ds. The first season yeah right or up until up until neo something city when they rebuilt the city okay yeah well yeah let's not delve too much in the back okay brown information let's just jump right into this episode which was a hot mess of exposition <laughs> and my first question to all of you guys was or is do you even know what happened this episode oh shoot anyway. we're having a quiz <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it's, I, didn't, it's I didn't study, whether, but uh... it's whether do you know or not. Okay, let, let's okay. see if I got this. Um, so there's like this technological race that's being hunted by these knights, or they're the knights themselves, or something happened, and then one of them, they're all trapped except for the purple one, and then he sucks them all up in his eye, and then his eye flies away, and then, <laughs> then we're met with the protagonist who's like socially awkward but still kind of cool. And then he's friends with a hot dog man, and then they they <laughs> get, they make sure that the eyeball gets into the dual disc, and then they tease us with a, a duel that doesn't happen yet. Oh, uh, surfboards! Oh, there's... oh, exposition! Yeah, Tons of it. They are literally surfing the web, <laughs> right? Uh, uh, it's terrible. Oh, it's no. Terrible. Oh. Jeez. The gimmick of the Jeez. show is based off of a dumb pun. I should be more happy about this, but I don't know why I'm upset. <laughs> let, yes. let, let me try to fill in some of the blanks, because I, I remember distinctly that he got eaten, and then only his eye yes. escaped. Yes. Yep. <laughs> that was very key. I'm glad that that was the blank that you filled in. <laughs> I needed to fill that blank in. It was very important, because yeah. it didn't... It, it just... Like that, if the eye didn't make it, this whole show wouldn't even matter right now. Like that's fair. That was a it's very. Like, why would you even watch it? The show doesn't matter. No. <laughs> and then, like, I just remember weird squishing noises when the when the, <laughs> <laughs> when the green force field was being dissolved. That's oh, all that I was so gross. <laughs> and then, like, we had the yeah, the protagonist was like asleep at the desk in the back and they're in class is over and then some some kind of fat dude comes over and he's like hey man let me tell you oh, everything you don't want to know kid? about brains and <laughs> and and stuff that's i don't even remember half of what he was talking about because there was no visual medium oh. to show us what was going on it was more just well looking at his wonderful face actually i have and, a question alex what is a brain Please. And why do they uh, keep dis why do they keep calling it brain? It sounds like brains. Uh because they're Japanese and that's how they pronounce it. I know. And also yes, brains know. is an acronym that sounds for uh virtual reality artificial intelligence network. Ooh, so, guess guess who knows how to use the Wikipedia? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I mean, it was like, like I thought it was they kind of told us. Oh really? Uh, virtual previously. trains. What was that, Michael? <laughs> Virtual trains. Yeah, again, <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of what like I uh, thought it was before because that's just what it sounds like. But um, this is kind of uh, this premise is really common in like modern Yu-Gi-Oh anime because they're just like different dimensions and they're always fighting, right? Mm -hmm. Like for Zexel, it was like. Uh, the evil barring race versus the astral race versus the humans. For Arc V, it's like four different dimensions based on their summoning thing, and now it's the virtual reality 
organisms. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. <laughs> <laughs> just, you, okay, the you artificial Digimon intelligence. The whole time, AI Michael? Is... Oh yeah, I was singing Digimon when we when we were going through the yeah. uh, wormholes. Yeah. So. Yeah, that was a good time. I guess they're pretty relatable to Digimon, mm-hmm. and apparently they have some either wealth or knowledge. I think they have like some rich data material that the whole V range and network is very dependent on. Mm-hmm. That's why everyone's after the the AI world. But at least that's what I've been told from like you know magazine leaks and or not <laughs> leaks, but like just. From the Japanese magazines and stuff. Mm-hmm. Right, games. right. So, um, are the knights good guys or bad guys? The There's... knights are uh, bad guys, a group right. of hackers okay. that are trying to uh, oh, disrupt right. the V reigns, which is like kind of like the whole big brother, not big brother esque, but um, kind of like the company of the anime. It's the big company, the one that develops all like the virtual reality stuff just like kaiba corp developed all the dual disc stuff oh so they're trying to they're trying to hack apple (laughs) (laughs) no no okay trying to hack. no they are they're consistently hacking apple they're trying to um they're trying to take over and stop net neutrality let's let's put it into words that we are well okay let's those are those are wrong words (laughs) what i'm not sure if net neutrality (laughs) is an issue at this point because uh i mean they'd have total control right kind of but not really they're uh messing with everyone's virtual accounts which is basically you know in this universe their wow accounts oh no not my free email Oh, oh, they're wow. <laughs> but it does have, like, all their, uh, it does have all their cards and, like, their oh, yeah. virtual reality avatars. Yo, I love <laughs> so, how, like... I love how in the future, everyone will just stop playing regular Yu-Gi-Oh! and start playing on Dual Network or something. <laughs> that was bothering me, <clears throat> because I'm like, aren't you supposed to support, like, card sales, and now we're, like, encouraging digital, like, uh, it, 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 what? Yeah, man, know. support your local comic book shops. Don't buy digital. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's like two uh, ways about uh, two ways to think about that. One, our main character still uses physical cards, there's, yeah. so oh. there's probably going to be some like underlying uh, importance to actually using the physical cards. Second, hack your um, if you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you pay attention to like the the art style throughout. Uh, the anime, especially when they go into the virtual reality, it looks really similar to another app that Konami recently released called Dual Links. Oh. And since the primary summoning method of this anime is link summoning, oh. there there might there might be some kind of you know correlation between the two. Also, I heard... oh. uh, the gimmick for Five uh, Ds was speed duels. If you remember. Mm-hmm. And then for Arc V, they had like various tag, and they they even had their own version of speed duels and uh, action duels. For this one, it'll be speed duels, which is basically the format that they use in Duel Links, the limited monster zones, and mm-hmm. all that Wait, jazz. Are they using the the six slots instead of ten? Uh, for speed duels, yes. But they will still be doing the regular, you know, five monsters plus an extra monster zone. Mm -hmm. But they're probably going to slowly lead into that because we haven't really seen any Link monsters. Okay. You pay attention to, like, all the monsters in the background. They're all Xyz, Synchro, like, the traditional old Mm -hmm. guys. Is there going to be a new summoning system for this? this Link. Uh, Yes. Link summoning. Which is complicated as shit. So they're going to take their time okay. delving into it. Okay, all right, it. all right. Yeah. I guess I'll, I'll learn with the show. Yeah. yeah oh, but... it also uh, nerfs previous mechanics because of the way it interacts yeah. with the extra yeah. It's, it's gonna, gonna be fun. It's good for it's me, because I run Gravekeepers. Yeah, also, uh, the main character also makes note of this. He's like, oh yeah, there's new rules about the I, I saw extra that. monster zone. Yeah. So, like... Didn't he they say kinda... he was going to ask the, the other dude about it? Uh, Yusaku really doesn't care. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's, like, 
online I've heard like a lot of people praising and a lot of people hating on his character. I feel like it's his his character wasn't really the the highlight of his episode. It was more he like did, here's he all the plot. There. He was well, going to dump all I mean, this plot on you and he's going to He's gonna slowly, slowly guide you through it, mm-hmm. but I, I'm more the plot happy. Was for, way too overwhelming. I'm more happy for what he wasn't than what he was because I'm just glad that he wasn't like the, the chipper, like excited protagonist that just yeah I is mean, annoying. Like there was the that problem in uh, quick tangent in Sentai a lot where we'd always get like this really crackpot, loud um, Red Ranger, and I feel like. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of over it. And mm-hmm. from what I've seen, I mean, this could be completely different from what's what's actually presented. But it looks like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh was in a similar sort of situation. So I'm glad that we have this somewhat more common collected guy. Yeah. And kind of oh. knows what he's doing a little more. I could yeah. be wrong. I haven't I haven't watched. I feel like out. some context about Arc V would be beneficial here because uh yuya's whole motto for arc v was he was gonna make everyone smile through dueling and i love how like in the promotional art and videos for uh v reigns everyone's looking at the main character and there's like this guy hasn't smiled at like a single time no posters <laughs> no like video of him smiling at all and he's like what was yuya like dueling for for these entire like three years <laughs> i don't see no egg out dude <laughs> which was like oh it was kind of irritating in a sense and it, it kind of it also uh, really bit the plot in the ass at the end because they kind of forced smiles down her throat so now there's like, you know what? This guy just doesn't smile at all. We're going to have a more serious tone <laughs> uh, series, which is kind of like um, jump from GX to 5Ds. I'm <laughs> okay with that because 5Ds is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The well, one thing I'm going to... Oh, go ahead. I was going to say the transforming when he changes his entire... Oh, yeah, he thing. henshins! He henshins. <laughs> yes! Like... That reminded me a bit of like Mega Man Battle Network because he, we're in the digital realm now and we've got our digital, you know, persona going on. Yeah, especially but... that part when his hair changed color. Yeah, he oh, he had wait. almost every color in the <laughs> spectrum represented between both versions of his head. Like, <laughs> yeah, this pink, oh, yellow, yeah. And blue. What what is his title? He has like this weird title now. The playmaker. Playmaster. Yeah. Oh, wait, playmaker. Uh, so, yeah. 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 It's probably one of those what things that, that sounds better in Japanese. Because... Mm. No, yeah, it, we... it's okay. kind of like his uh, online identity, I guess. Mm. Oh, because just but think he of has like a physical deck. Oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, I, they probably will delve into it a bit more because we really didn't get into his backstory. We did see like a small flashback of him, mm-hmm. but just it wasn't really significant enough. Mm-hmm. Uh, we do know that he uh, he hacks into the Soul Industries kind of like network through a hot dog truck, <laughs> which I found kind of like it's a real novelty. And I, <laughs> this might not really pertain to the audi- our audience, but the dude reminded me of Sean. I'm just gonna like put that out there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the hot dog guy? What? Yeah. So I'll just like, yeah, that makes sense. But let's move on from that because I don't yeah, want to. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, let's, let's. Yeah, I've enlightened someone. Thank God. Oh wow! <laughs> I'm gonna show up in some I felt and some bitches you. In huh? in that scene, oh. that's kind of where the plot just went a bit too fast for me. I don't know how you guys felt really? about that. Really, I feel like it started off pretty bad. Mm-hmm. Or like pretty pretty heavy, I should say. No, mm-hmm. like, fast, as in, um, the dude's all like, hey, there's this thing that everyone's looking for. I'm gonna oh. go trap it in my duel disc. I was like, wait, <laughs> what the sh- What are you even thinking about? And also, <laughs> you turned him into a dueling program, and the only way to get him is to defeat him in a duel? 
The Vigamy in a duel, man. Yeah, oh, he actually didn't defeat the duel. He just like, like trapped the program into his duel disc for some just because everyone wants it. I mean, I guess that's how I don't know how like you gotta know, beat me in a duel. <laughs> well, no, he has he doesn't have to beat anyone to get him. No, he, no, no, like he, no, he has, has to, to be beat beaten. him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If they need to or get him, like the, the they want hackers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that's another one of the getting back to the show. That's another one of the confusing plot points uh, that we got this episode. When we went into that one room where that one dude is talking to a giant chess piece. <laughs> and <he> goes, <laughs> I saw that. And I'm like, wrong game, guys. What are you doing? Don't quit promoting this one. Crossover uh, episode, easy. Okay, one thing I liked about. Uh, the chess piece was uh, if you I read online, and you know how chess pieces have certain moves that they can make. Yeah. Uh -huh. And link marker er, and link cards have arrows that indicate oh. where you can special oh, summon. Oh no extra way! Monsters. So I was just like, oh. that makes sense. I I'm totally fine with there being a chess motif. I just don't want them to be uh, what's his face, Darth Sidious. You know, just that giant, like, hologram. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. I was yawning. I forgot to laugh. <laughs> I get you. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It, it felt a bit, um, kind of random. Also, I don't know who he was talking to. Either Soul Industries or the Knights of Hanoi. He might be a double agent. But I don't know because I don't really know who he was talking to. There's a. Nice. It felt like there were. I thought there were more. I thought there were like three factions going on in this show. I couldn't tell. Yeah, we have the hot dog station, the Soul Industries, and um, <laughs> what is what is their purpose? What is their the, ultimate goal? The, <laughs> the Knights of Hanoi. We don't know. No, the protagonists. Oh, protagonists. No, they're knows. vigilantes. Oh. Yeah. What are they There's... called? Hacktivists. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that all we getting? Because man, that, that oh, really yeah. for sure not. Because they allude to a lot of things where uh, Yusaku used to enjoy dueling, and now he doesn't. So it's probably something that kind of triggered that in the past, which his might his brother, you know, right? Something about his oh, brother. Oh yeah, something about his brother. Just <laughs> I lost in a children's card game. I'll never be the same hey, again. Hey man, you can you can get sent to the the shadow realm if you lose in a children's card game. Yeah, or watch out, die. <laughs> <laughs> you can literally just go to the moon to get a card and then just die because someone broke your mask. <laughs> uh, I'm sure that this what? is definitely a plot point that's <laughs> excuse me happened just before. Just taken out of context and just threw it in there. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Makes no Maybe sense, that, but just, oh, just I like doing that personally. We're gonna leave that there. Great. I don't think there's really much else to talk about for this episode, unless you guys have anything that like really jumped out at you. Um, there was something that I had, but I forgot about it. I guess we'll just discuss. Oh it yeah, we didn't talk about the giant ass dragon. Oh, that, that, which was that? one? There's more than one. They were all over the place, weren't they? Uh, I think the main one was the black one that was uh, kind of. You know, breathing fire on everyone's VR accounts, yeah. deleting them. Oh, the freaking, uh, the weird, uh, black and green one. Oh, yeah, that the people that totally died. Whoa, yeah, that was like, they totally just got burned to death, oh, and then they just... Oh, no! But then Corey said there was a pixely noise, so they must have been just sent to the, uh, pixel realm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think uh, all their VR accounts just got erased, that's what we've been told by other characters. Oh, mm -hmm. really? And, yeah... Wait. So it they might were mean in the virtual them, world? But... I'm what? so confused. I'm... Where were they? Virtual uh, world. They're... Virtual reality. Oof. It's like really advanced. Which is kind can, of they, can they make it look um, different <laughs> than regular <laughs> reality? That would be very uh, useful. No, they can't do that because they want to kind of confuse the crap out of us. Oh, that's, that's great. I'm, I'm, good. Wonderful. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm um, we also got introduced to a couple other characters, the Blue Angel and your generic strong guy, which has happened since Zexel, and I I don't really like this theme whatsoever. No. Mm. That's like, nice. uh, every uh, protagonist oh, has like that huge-ass 
you know, <laughs> bulky dude as their best friend. Their quote best friend. Wait, who what, shows about, up what about in the, the first few episodes? Dude. What about the hippopotamus dude? Isn't he the best friend? Hippopotamus? The weird the, guy. Yeah, the who guy who's all like, yeah, hey, yeah. welcome to V Reigns. Oh, him? Uh, let me yeah. tell you about the world I like you've been living not. in for 16 years. I really hope yeah. he's not Also, like. Uh, our main character. Joey. Our main character was asleep at the beginning, and he walks up to him. Hey, are you still here? Uh, what were you still doing there? Getting out of the seat. <laughs> 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 I mean, it looks like it'll be a pain in the ass for him. I don't know, like quite the, literally. The... Oh, I also <laughs> kind of wanted to touch on. I, I, I really wish the. Um, uh, the dual discs were a bit more toyetic. You know what I mean? I, I wish they'd uh, lend themselves a little better to uh, being made physically and put out for mass production and distribution. Because I kind of I kind of want to have a dual disc or a set of dual discs, but mm. these I don't know. Um, I don't know what the Where's what the last kind of appeal they were going for here because. I remember uh, Zexel kind of had r- extremely stylized the dual disc to the point that it could just be like, um, it would be like a blade looking thing off of your arm that you somehow still played cards on. And then Art V went back to like the basic dual disc that they've had like, oh, really? forever. Yeah, it looked a lot like GX dual discs, oh, except cool. they were stylized for like their own dimensions. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and this one, I mean, it's supposed to look more futuresque, and it should reflect that, you know, they do use virtual cards at times. Like, if you watch uh, the Dark Side of Dimensions movie, Kaiba starts using, uh, like, digital cards. Oh, yeah. Speaking oh, of they... which, shameless plug, I'm going to be doing a Go Mango special on the movie eventually. Oh, eventually. Yes, to me. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I mean, we could always rewatch it if it's not in your memory, you know. So that was. That oh, was no, I remember the movie. That was that was a good movie, but that's that's for another time. Yeah, that was quite the meme fest. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I think we just skipped over the dragon. I hated that. I hated that scene so much. Like, it did not really. Uh, show any threat and a lot of people online were saying like oh geez look at all that like these are guys are actual threats it's just like they just deleted a bunch of like video game accounts it's just like yeah someone went up and deleted your club penguin okay that's probably <laughs> disastrous <laughs> for some people <laughs> some, for some reason had like an avid fan base but yeah hey man don't hate I, <clears throat> don't fetish shame uh <laughs> whoa <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry if I offended anyone, but I'm not. <laughs> overall, I feel like uh, if this was going to be their exposition dump, it's not okay. <laughs> you <laughs> ever do this. It's not. But if the next few episodes uh, make up for it, then I would probably forgive it. Yeah. But I doubt it because we don't really have interesting characters at this point. Yeah. And that's kind of like my whole preview for the series. I don't think Yusaku is going to be a strong enough character to carry the show. Mm. Um, oh. I mean, I, I kind of have a somewhat differing opinion. Like, I think Yusaku is fine enough. Like, he seems a bit like Yusei, and I really liked him as a main character. So maybe that's kind of what I'm getting off of him. But um, that sounded weird. Uh, but... Despite that, I think he was fine enough to where I can I can look past the exposition dump. I honestly think they they just left it in there. They're gonna tell us again later, but they put it in here earlier just to say, "Hey, we told you, uh, we told you this was happening. It was a nugget, and we definitely planned this ahead of time. Uh, there's proof. It's there. You just gotta pay too much attention." <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Yo, they took an extra month uh, to debut the series, yeah, and that's I was right. extremely disappointed because of that because we had to wait an extra month, and this is the first episode that they gave yeah, us. Yeah, this is pretty. 
I was waiting all of uh, about the one hour before <laughs> I watched it when you told me it was happening. So I was uh, I was pretty uh, I was pretty you know neutral about the entire experience. I was just kind of pissed that they ended on a cliffhanger. Like, hey, you guys want to see a duel? Nope. <laughs> Great. Okay, thanks. Yeah, thanks. I was like, wait, we don't have time for a duel. What do you? Oh, it's ended. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it just concedes instantly. It's the shortest duel known to man. Uh, the opening <laughs> and ending are pretty decent for a Yu-Gi-Oh series, so oh, there's wow. always that. They 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 were all right this time around. Yeah, they didn't I have enough. I forgot what uh, I felt about the service. ending. I just thought the opening was okay. The chorus was fine. Uh, it got better in the chorus just because I feel like his voice really fit that section of the song better. The rest he was just mm. kind of doing adequate. Visuals were all right. Yeah. I mean, I guess really... they're just like... Wait, Wait no, 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 no. Okay. No, 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 no. I, I distinctly remember calling out a frame rate at one point. Remember, For Corey? the episode or the, the... During the episode. Oh. Yeah. I mean, that that's just the episode. Like, has nothing first to do with episodes, the though... First episodes, though, those are supposed to be the higher budget. Type yeah, at things. least like, Boruto had the the, yeah, <laughs> the decency yeah. to wait till episode two to give what? us a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> yeah, this should have definitely been like a two part. If they're gonna save everything for the Seriously. second half, just like you just lost so much of your audience. I mean, what if episode. what if what if the uh, month extra was them fit like they made episode one and realized, hey. We actually don't have enough stuff, you know, to to give them the first episode that they kind of want. So we have to give them this really dense information dump ahead of time. Okay, good. Let's let's fix it now, and then that's that's how we got this. I don't know. Like compared to like Arc of East, like initial writing, like uh. Because that series was heavily focused on using all four summons, they slowly introduce you to all four of them and kind of teach you on the way and have a really excellent pace. Mm. For this one, it's like, they don't care about that. It's like, <laughs> what, what are you even trying to accomplish here? It's just... It's, it's so clear, yeah. But it is the first episode, mm -hmm. so like you can't just completely throw away the series. So I'll give it... I mean, I'm going to just watch regardless unless it gets really <laughs> overwhelmingly bad. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I mean, if if anything, it will only make all of the other uh, seasons and shows or iterations look better. That's you know? not... I mean, I guess that's a positive. It, yeah, you know? Sure. Even if you guys were having trouble with, like, Z Zexel or whatever... Or, oh, I no, mean, dude, it's Zexel, just like Zexel's saying, by far one of the best. It's, or it's Arc just v. like saying, hey, um, look at those trash bags over there. <laughs> uh, they're, they're not that great. And then you bring in like this old, decrepit, kind of smellier looking trash bag. And you're like, <laughs> oh, well, at least those are better than this one. Yeah, oh, you're yeah. right. No. <laughs> Manage those expectations. You're just adding worse crap to the junk pile. Yeah, so that's not good. <laughs> not not that, not that it's a junk pile. I, I I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just making the comparison. We're trash, by the way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's All why this. I feel red at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, Jordan. Any thoughts? Uh, I can't say anything until we get to the duels, because I want to see if they get any of the really fun duels where it's just like, okay, I spent six minutes on my turn summoning my entire deck. <laughs> I, mean, I got my hopes high. That ah, crap, deck broken. <laughs> Oh, yeah, actually, that's a, that's a point I forgot to talk about. I feel like this guy might actually be smart with his deck. I hope so. Uh, um, like, uh, like our other two protagonists, uh, Yuma and Yuya, were kind of like catered towards kids with that really basic strategies where you just spam the living shit out of their boss <laughs> monster. <laughs> this guy seems a bit more like rational, so hopefully you get more uh, like better dual writing at least, just mm -hmm. to keep the whole thing interesting. Yeah. 
Okay, I mean the way he they we try they tried to show him off by having him deconstruct the the kind of fat dude. Like, oh, this you must be a not great, you know, duelist because so and so and so you haven't even challenged it yourself. And then, but you're still kind of a nice guy because you did come talk to some random kid alone, like after school. Also, you're ugly. Please go away. Yeah, <laughs> like I wasn't <laughs> sure. <laughs> Like, like, you're gonna be following me for the rest of the series, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, hopefully Waifu takes over that role, but Let's, supposedly uh, she has a complex for her brother, which might throw around some things. Shall we wrap this up then? <laughs> yeah, we oh, yeah. already recorded longer than the episode actually was. <laughs> Good. <Sorry. Good. laughs> That's what happened with bad episodes. Ranting. (laughs) Typically. All right. I think we're pretty much done here. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Uh, Make sure to keep up to date on our social medias, which are also in the description down below. Uh, Have a good one. See ya. Yeah. Later.